having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's I pretend like we're laughing really hard. Magazine hoes, I am Elizelle. And I'm Scarlett Mary Rose. <laughs> Which, you know what? what? I'm gonna go right into this because I just had this thought right before the show. Okay, what was it? The sound of fashion. Oh, what is the sound of fashion other than, of course, Madonna? Of course. Madonna. Well, basically, it was the notion of what clothes sound like when you wear them. You know what I mean? And I was thinking about how that, we don't get that in fashion magazines. The sound they make? No, I know, like taffeta, the way it like, you know? Something, you know? It when I walk in those sound. pants, are they gonna rub? And I'm gonna be like, meh, 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 When I'm walking down the street and I spend $2,000 on my pair of pants, you know? That's not okay. That's not sexy, so. Leather makes a pretty cool just, sound. Just inspiration like that, the sound of fashion. The sound of fashion. We could make a symphony of fashion. Fashion symphony. A fashion symphony. Yes, which is kind of like what this Vogue was. A no fashion kidding. Symphony. I would agree, it was. Yeah. I know because mm -hmm. even though we're behind here, mm -hmm. we're just like the cutting edge. We're the roots of it all. <laughs> you would never know it, but it's true. It all comes stems from butt fuck nowhere. From our psyche, from our consciousness. From our consciousness. We just we're it. the seed consciousness. And then it goes pshh. Oh, into the, the fashion yes, world, into the cosmos, and it gets picked up. And we need terrorists. to be able to cash in on this. Yeah, we do. Vanity Fair, Mary Claire. Um, fashion is so superficial. <laughs> so this month, we were really excited about all the fashion spreads in vogue. Thought they were really cool. They represented the clothing well. Palatial. Palatial. Really cool. So this one was interesting. Yeah, I love the D&G. It yeah. always stops me in my tracks. Very cool, very fun with the wig. And the ants. The art. Beautiful shots. I loved that dress. So Oscar worthy. I know. The gold shoes too. Oh, I know. Very fun. How, how um, MoMA of you to go to the Oscars in that. Yeah, huh? very cool. I've already picked my dress up. Yeah, you have. So that was a really fun little spread. And then... Ooh. Oh, the Marie Antoinette. Are we oh. not super excited about this movie? Yes, we are very excited about this movie. But of course, we won't get to see it. No, not for a really, really it's long time. It's on video. Yeah, yeah, pretty we much. We don't even have DVDs here. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have dresses like that. That oh, is amazing. That is so amazing. Oh my god, it's my just god, gorgeous. It's like, <sighs> my heart. Imagine the sound that <sighs> would make. Oh, the sound of fashion. This, this like. Oh, just beautiful. Kirsten Dunn's beautiful. Oh. It's like a fantasy. Isn't it is like a bag dress. Oh, so amazing. Imagine the sound that makes. The sound of fashion. Mm. Fantastic. I know. I think that that shot is worth the magazine alone. I agree with you. Yeah, that dress. Getting to have that, it, it makes the whole issue. Oh, he what you should have done Absolutely. Vogue. You should make like a poster, you know, like they do in Playboy. But instead, it's like the garbage bag dress, so we can pin it up on the walls. It's like a centerfold. A centerfold. Centerfold. Centerfold Vogue. Centerfold Vogue. Fashion spread. Do it. Do it. Oh, you haven't done it yet. That's Think of a it. Great idea. And so radical. This is too awesome ads and an exciting segment in the magazine show where ads give us in BFN a window into what the designers key pieces are for the oh, yeah. season that they're promoting it's all we get the look the makeup the hair the photography you know a lot of people are like oh and the fat fall issues it's all ads well ads are we hot. like yeah we like the ads they're Lick art them up. yeah yeah they're, they're part of the candy. art mm. they are the art i know it's great okay mm. so what what ad have you got for us oh, i'm really liking this guess ad mm -hmm. this one here 
I've got this Angelina Jolie in the St. John hat. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but I think she looks like an alien. Yeah, like I was saying, I think they've done away with the real Angelina Jolie, and she actually is an alien, because more and more I've been noticing she looks like an alien. She does, man. That is an alien-looking picture. Why do people think... Kate Moss bit... is rather alien-like, too. Is there something to do with aliens? Overlease. I think you might be right. It's the Kate Moss alien takeover. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the aliens will be hot. <laughs> Look at this. I love it. Let's put a um, let's put a bustier over top of a sweater <laughs> and make it work and make it cool. That's nice. Yeah, that is very cool. Nice. Love, Talk baby. Of personal style. Oh, I love those Vivian Westwood. Focus. Focus. Oh, help me here. Oh, right. <laughs> Fresh crack. Personal. I, this week, get to have a fresh crack cosmic pick. So, Ooh. yes. I know what you can pick. Fresh I want to pick what I'm going to wear. I love your outfit, by the way. You're going to blow everybody away. The veil. It's all about the veil. You know what? all eyes on you. Okay. Now I have to focus. Okay. Okay, now, now um, this is what I'm going to wear. I can't copy Nicole Richie. Yes, you can. It's a beautiful dress. Look at her hair! Oh, it's beautiful! It's beautiful, but maybe it comes in another color. Oh, I'm excited! I'm excited about some Nicole, Richie. <laughs> Mark mine, and I read my Drew article, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to tell everybody about our celebrity game. Yes! We are excited to tell you about our celebrity game. We've been playing this game for a really long time. And a long time. You know what? what? You know it's a landmark moment? It, it was an in style when Charlize Theron was in her South African home. And it was an in style and I was like, that's it. I need to go out with that girl. <laughs> and it really She's be. my wife. So whatever issue that was, we could research it, see if we could find it. So carry on. <laughs> celebrity game. Char Charlize is Liesl's wife. Yes. So everybody gets to have a wife, a husband, a boyfriend, um, a girlfriend. Okay, let's make that clear. You need a husband and a wife. And a boyfriend and a girlfriend. You don't just get to have one sex. You gotta, if you want a wife, you need to have a husband. And you can you gotta be bi in the celebrity game. <laughs> it's a bi game. That's how it works. Can't just be hat. No. No. Not in this game. You know what I'm saying now. Allure. So, Picasso, like I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again, Picasso is hot, and he is going to start influencing, I think, fashion just as much as art, especially in terms of patterns and shapes and colors, and we issued this challenge before, and I'm going to issue it again. Pastels for next fall. Picasso pastel. Pas yeah. Uh, Picasso. Picasso pastel. Pastel. Picasso. I smell Kate Moss. Woo! I can't get enough of that. Kate Moss. How do I look? Perfect. Gucci. Gucci. It is pretty hot. Yeah, hot. Look at sport. <laughs> yes. I'll be able to kill her with these shoes. That's right. You'll be like, don't fuck with me. See? And then I can hide things in here because you can unscrew that. For real? And put your put your um secret messages into this into the keep your drugs in there. Because you definitely need to have your drugs during the war time. Yeah. <laughs> There's one time you need drugs, it's definitely during. Say it. Fashion flashback. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 Baby, everyone's blind. I'll be your baby. It's kind of like that. <laughs>